okay I'm going to show you how to design all the pipes in any project with just three clicks. Click one. We enter the start pressure in KPA. Step two, the length to the worst case. Step three, the height difference from the start to the finish. Three clicks. Here is all our pipe sizes. Every known pipe size with a capacity. For instance, 20 diameter pipe can serve one dwelling. If you've got three dwellings, we need a 25. Anywhere between three and eight, we need a 32, etc., etc. And the same goes for plastic. How easy is that? Now, I'll show you quickly how it works. Start pressure gives this pressure. The length of the worst case. The worst case can be either the furthest fixture or the highest fixture. And the worst case is the fixture that has the lowest pressure under the design flow. So a lot of times we must try two cases. We go to the furthest and we go to the highest to find out which one is the worst. We know the worst one has the lowest hydraulic grade. So, moving on, the height difference from the start is there to our top fixture, or furthest fixture. The height from there to there. We have a residual head. This is the pressure we want to have at our final fixture. The program default is 11. That is because that is the minimum head required by manufacturers for a lot of mixing valves. Uh, the plumbing code allows five. This can be changed, that's only the default. We can change that to whatever we want. Same with the maximum velocity. The default of the program is 2.4, plumbing code is 3, but 2.4 is a recognised international code. If we don't enter anything in there, it will accept the default of 2.4. Okay, we've done all that, we've got all our pipe sizes. We can also size our pipes on loading units. Should we wish to do this and calculate loading units, we move down to a table here. This table here, we enter our number of WCs, our number of showers, baths, basins, etc., etc. Here we have a number of uh, our number of loading units. In real life we'll draw some sort of a diagram. This is an elevation of uh, a building. We draw our pipelines on then we progressively count up our loading units as we go along. We go down the rises, we go out. Once we have our loading units on there we simply look up the table here of loading units, get our pipe size. Now let's look at the pump. What if we had no pressure or a very low pressure? So let's say it's zero, we're pumping from a tank pump is required but there's no total flow. We get these warnings that come up periodically. So obviously we need a flow if we're going to calculate a pump. So then we go into this table here. We can enter the number of dwellings, we can add in loading units if we want, if we've got a hose reel or something we can add that in as a fixed flow. Calculate again. It still says we need a pump. This is calculate the total flow the copper pipe size and the plastic pipe size that we need for that flow and for that hydraulic grade is calculated. That saves us looking up the table, that's all that does. Now, this comes up tells us we need a pump. Important information regarding the pump. There's a lot of interesting stuff there that you really should go through. Um, where were we? Back to here. Pump. To work out the pump we need to know what the pipe type is, whether it's copper or plastic. Let's say copper. We need to know the suction diameter. Um, up here it says 65. Why don't we go less than this 65? What about 32? Up comes this dialog. Cannot be less than 65, which is the diameter of the copper pipe shown above. Such a diameter would exceed the allowable velocity. So it has to be that diameter or greater if we're using copper. Normally a good idea to use the next size up if we've got a low, a low um, 
start pressure uh, 65 next one up to 80 delivery we'll use the 65 and now we just calculate the pump it's again three clicks one two three calculate the pump the pump head is 19 the pump flow is 5 so we've got a pump duty we go to our manufacturing so you want a pump that will handle uh, 5 litres per second at 19 metres head or we can get a pump curve and select our own pump uh, this is just some information of how this was done and it's advisable to check out what has been allowed for fixtures and fittings around the pump room. And that's it. There's a lot to... Oh, if just in case we want to, for some reason, calculate flow from loading units. 97. 0.97 litres a second. Which is the same result we would get if we put 111 loading units into this one here. 101, calculate, 0.97, 0.97, same result. So this, this table here is pretty much redundant. We have then the list of instructions of what to do and how to do it. Um, and there is also a huge amount of information here. How to calculate the size of water pipe for buildings. If you have the chance, I advise you to go through that. It goes on and on, everything you wanted to know and were afraid to ask. By the time you've done all this, you should be very proficient in understanding what to do and how to use this program and how to size any project. This is a professional program and uh, it's one I've used for more than 12 years in uh, hydraulic design and uh, it saves a huge amount of time. If you want to know how, when, where and why this program works, check out this. This is the method suggested in the Australian Plumbing Code. It tells you how it's done, uh, what the equivalent length is, why it's done, etc. Definitely worth having a look at this before you start. Uh,